Imagine a world frozen in time, where the past comes alive in vivid detail. This is the story of Pompeii and Herculaneum, two ancient Roman cities that were forever preserved by the catastrophic eruption of Mount Vesuvius in 79 AD. Once thriving in bustling hubs of Roman civilization, these cities were buried beneath layers of ash and pumice for nearly 1700 years before their serendipitous rediscovery in the 18th century. The eruption of Mount Vesuvius occurred on a fateful day in August, engulfing Pompeii and Herculaneum in a deadly mixture of volcanic ash, pumice, and poisonous gases. The suddenness and intensity of the eruption caught the inhabitants completely unaware, resulting in a catastrophic loss of life and the obliteration of entire communities. The once prosperous cities were reduced to ghostly vestiges beneath a suffocating shroud of volcanic debris. For centuries, the very existence of Pompeii and Herculaneum was forgotten, their location and significance buried under layers of history. Tales of the city's destruction and the manner in which they vanished became nothing more than ancient myths and legends. It was not until the 18th century that these lost cities were gradually brought back into the realm of human knowledge. The rediscovery of Pompeii can be attributed to the accidental discovery made by a local architect, Domenico Fontana, while conducting the construction work at the Palace of Portizzi in 1710. However, it was not until nearly a decade later that the true significance of the buried ruins was recognized. The excavation of Pompeii began under the patronage of the Bourbon King Charles III of Spain, who ruled over the Kingdom of Naples and Sicily at the time. This marked the beginning of a new era in archaeological exploration and the uncovering of a Pompeian world, long lost. The meticulous excavation work at Pompeii unearthed a city frozen in time, revealing an astonishing array of well-preserved buildings, streets, frescoes, mosaics, and everyday objects. These remnants provided invaluable insights into the daily life, culture, and social structure of the ancient Romans. The Forum, which served as a central gathering place, showcased the city's political, religious, and economic activities. The luxurious villas with their intricate design and splendid decorations offered a glimpse into the opulence enjoyed by the wealthy elite. In a similar fashion, the rediscovery of Herculaneum unfolded during the 18th century. The ancient city was buried under a thick layer of volcanic material, which turned out to be a blessing in disguise as it served to protect and preserve the city's structures and artifacts. Herculaneum showcased a different aspect of Roman life, with its well-preserved townhouses, shops, baths, and even a theater. The elaborate architectural elements, intricate mosaics, and vivid frescoes spoke volumes about the sophistication and artistic flair of the Roman civilization. The rediscovery of Pompeii and Herculaneum sparked a renewed interest in the ancient world and fueled the development of archaeology as a scientific discipline. Scholars and artists flocked to these archaeological sites, captivated by the opportunity to witness firsthand the wonders of the Roman civilization. Their meticulous documentation and artistic renderings played a crucial role in preserving the memory of these lost cities. With the passage of time, Pompeii and Herculaneum evolved into open-air museums, allowing visitors to walk through the streets of ancient Rome and immerse themselves in its vibrant past. The tale of Pompeii and Herculaneum serves as a powerful reminder of the forces of nature and the impermanence of human existence. It is a testament to the resilience of these ancient cities and the people who once called them home. Today, the archaeological sites of Pompeii and Herculaneum continue to fascinate and educate visitors from around the world, 
allowing men to connect with the past and gain a deeper understanding of the rich tapestry of human history.